Warning, warning, warning. Pay attention to this video. The first thing you never want to do with DGNWS files is copy them and rename them. What's going to happen is that the software is going to not recognize that uh, DGNWS file correctly. So when I renamed this and then start the software, what's going to happen is when I open a file, and you, the work set isn't going to be looking right. So even if I open up a file using the work set, the new renamed one, the problem is the sheet index isn't going to be branded properly. So I renamed the project, but the work set no longer has the renamed value in here. So adding sheets is going to be nearly impossible. So what I'm going to have to do is start over. So I'm going to delete this project. And the next thing you never want to do is just copy a workspace from one uh, work from or wor a work set from one workspace to another workspace and think that you can still use it. So when I try to pick the new workspace with the new work set and open a file, the path doesn't exist. Even though you'd think it would be, it doesn't. Or I got to make sure that I actually grab the fo folder that goes with it. Let's actually grab the folder and restart the software. Now if I pick my new workspace with my work set that was copied, okay, everything shows up, but when I go to open a file, it's the files are branded incorrectly. So I'm going to use my active workspace to try to rebrand it. But then when I go to add a sheet to the index, making that writable, Select a file that no longer belongs to the active work set. You'll see this error a lot. So when you see that that uh, selected file no longer belongs to the active work set, that means that the work set is no longer inside of the workspace that the work set was created in. So you got to be really careful about how you generate these work sets. So if I want to move a work set to another workspace, the only way to really fix that is to come into MicroStation and then create a new work set from the original workspace and have everything rebranded. So this is my new local English. Now if I open a file from here, everything should work. I'll open up the models, open up the local English, and new local English because it was rebranded, and now see if I can drag in a sheet. Now it's functioning when you can actually add a sheet. The other thing you don't ever want to do is create a new work set but not use the template as your starting point. If you do, 
what will happen is you'll lose all of the project properties. And without the project properties, you're going to have a lot of trouble getting all of the title block integration stuff operating. So if a, a user opens up a project and it does and they don't see the project properties, that means the DGNWS file was not created properly. Always copy an existing template that has the properties. Oh.